beautiful Impalio model 50 uh, I don't want to put this over the Lazy Susan because it's too heavy uh, maybe Lazy Susan easily broken so behind it, it's very beautiful right yeah. uh, Okay, before look at more detail, let's see the previous video, watch what was wrong with this type rider. This, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, this knob was broken, so I need to fix this one. Uh, I use the super crazy glue. Hit the key. The ribbon vibrator does not move anything. Also, it's very uh, tablet key. Hit the tablet key. It's very like this. <laughs> does not work. See? Does not work. Tablet key does not work. Ribbon vibrator does not work. I don't know why. It's red and then it's a red and then it's a stencil. Same thing. Totally stuck. So I need to study a lot. Cosmetic, cosmetically it looks good. But so we can remove the, this part from here and then also we can remove the carriage part. I found this part after removing this one inside. So I think uh, they make uh, the uh, this bar, space bar, uh, bothering for the return. Right now it's a return is okay, but before, after hit, it's very slowly written, but right now it's okay. Looks good. So I think uh, this is uh, something cool. Yeah. Right now, nice. Let's see, this one is a uh, vibration. Totally stuck, right? If the it's like this, see, it's a. Uh, Really stuck. See, see, <laughs> really stuck. I need to clean a lot of this part. <laughs> so a lot of problem. Even support turn does not turn correctly. Sometimes star and then also the number one key. See? Uh, totally way out. <laughs> so we need the bent a lot. So we can check from here and then also the inside it doesn't uh, uh, back to the original position because uh, it hit the, this frame because it, it was bent. This side it's uh, nicely back, right? But this one cannot go because uh, it was bent. So we need to bend a lot. That's why it doesn't uh, get into the crack position. It was bent. So far, uh, almost uh, everything fixed except two things. Very delayed connected to here so for tap function if you hit the tap then this one should be going down like this this is a this is a tap stop uh, tap stopper this one tap should be stopped here so if you hit the tap key, then it move like this. That means uh, 
it's going down this part, right? But under here, there is a mainspring. There is a, a mainspring. This one is a mainspring. This is a, I uh, deconnect the draw band with the fishing wire. So uh, that means uh, there is the carriage and then uh, this one like here and then hit the tap stop so like this and then release but uh, during that function then motion this going down this part and then stop the uh, turning uh, mainspring so mainspring cannot turn so that's why uh, make a problem continually because your uh, main st main spring stop and then the carriage still want to move to the this side like, like uh, uh, right side and uh, from back view uh, from front to uh, for the left side that that means uh, continually draw could be connected so my idea maybe this one did be bent to the this side or up but i don't know why it's uh, uh, anyway this one is a uh, uh, biggest job another thing is uh, uh actual draw code is like uh, this plate like this size but I am using just uh, like uh, one fishing wire. So if this one move this way, then there is a gap, right? Get into this uh, gap side. So you need something like a uh, hold like this. Then it will be okay. Uh, but normally after connect to the carriage, uh, this part a little bit like this side is uh, it's not big problem but if the block uh, this stuff the mainspring then it's automatically this uh, uh, fishing wire going this way so make a problem uh, that's the big job As you, you saw, it has a couple problem before, uh, like uh, this looks like uh, brand new. <laughs> but one more thing, uh, uh, when I hit the release carriage release button, it doesn't return like this. So I look at everything. Finally, I found uh, inside inside here. Uh, this is uh, touch the uh, see uh, after like this, and then touch the inside so doesn't return without power uh, without force. So I bent this one to make a gap. After that, uh, it was works. So. Yeah, and then you already saw the everything, right? Before check one by one, uh, I wanna review the this uh, very beautiful uh, typewriter's uh, unique stuff. So first, uh, the number one unique stuff we can take off this hole under the frame, this key and. Uh, typer we can take uh, out uh, using this button and then this button then easily take out uh, wait a minute I used the just one hand so um, like this and then like uh, right side and then see just start to the moving then like like this like this see like this yeah then just to lift up uh, we have a handle this side both side 
like this so hold the handle and then take out like this it's very heavy this material really really heavy then we can uh, separate this part from here right it's empty <laughs> but still uh, under here there are a uh, couple things the escapement mainspring and then the ribbon vibration stuff yeah I especially I clean uh, this stuff uh, a lot but still not perfect but almost uh, yeah okay and then another thing is uh, we can remove the whole uh, this uh, part see uh, there is a this this stuff right if we push it like this then we can uh, take out right like this after like this both side okay and then here same thing yeah both side like this then we can take out but uh, be careful because uh, before removing this one uh, we need the disconnect the draw draw band take off this one this stuff and then hook up uh, this one then we can do that let's do this one first okay uh, okay uh, remove this like this and then which I use the one hand it's maybe not good idea like this a uh, uh, little bit hard okay and then we can uh, this one remove right then together and then straightly take off oh it's a little bit uh, heavy this one also okay I put the, this one in front yeah after remove this one looks like this and then looks like this one more thing <laughs> we can also remove the platen easily like this and then this part is like this then uh, after this one and then easily we can take out like this see so we can clean uh, easily access to the everywhere right and then you can clean like this also you can clean like this and then also you can clean there and then this serial number is uh, here but uh, it's very hard to the, find out the, which year it was manufactured because uh, 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 typewriter database there is no exactly same uh, one. It's uh, AL129432. I think uh, maybe around 1930 to maybe 1936 or 1930 very close one I guess is uh, around 1930 so as you saw the video uh, I uh, reconnected the draw code and then the most difficult part is uh, this one continually uh, it, this is a tap function right continually hit the main spring so uh, mainspring does not turn so that's make problem but finally I got an idea I solved this problem uh, I took the this screw both then uh, even though uh, unscrew this one uh, it does not uh, come out it didn't come out but we got a little bit room and then I hit the hammer from the top see yeah, you can see the yeah that's the I hit the hammer a lot then little bit bent and then when you put back the this one uh, I raise the this part up and then this part down after that uh, it's working but uh, to realize this, uh, to solve this problem, I spend a lot of time because uh, 
This is a very uh, strong uh, material. Also, it's connected not here behind the uh, behind the this stuff. It's uh, one body, so it, it is not easy to bend. So that's not good idea. So another solution, I hit the sea uh, a lot with the hammer. So after that, it works. I'll show you later. And then if it, it is works, uh, don't worry about uh, this draw code uh, drop this gap. Never happen because uh, after connected uh, this part into the carriage, this also uh, come close to this side. That means I'm very safe, not going to that side. So that's the most difficult one. And then this one uh, couple more things. This ribbon spool stuff, very well designed, see? It's uh, like this, like this. And then we can take off this one easily, right? And then put back, and then uh, this one, uh, this one is like this, well designed. And then change it to the ribbon direction. Under here, there is a small touch. I'll show you. Uh, it's not easy. Mm. Uh, uh, this, this one, this one, like this. See? See? Like this. Yeah. yeah. After this, we can we can turn right, right? And then after change, you can turn left. So it's like a, a secret key <laughs> under here. Let's see, uh, it's harder to see, right? Okay, so yeah, that's it. Very special uh, typewriter. <laughs> Amazing. Everything almost assembled just uh, in order to put back this one, I have to put like this and then just push. <laughs> it's, it's very easy. See? And then, yeah, it locks. So, I already reconnected the draw code. And then some uh, paper, I show you the, uh, the ribbon spool stuff and then fixed the, the uh, tap function. Okay. Okay. See? Now oh, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, for the tap function, this is tap key, right? There is a two tap stop, this one and, and this one. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, spring a little bit more strong than more quickly move, right? Beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, also number one. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, yeah. One. Yeah. Little bit, uh, one is uh, like uh, uh, not straight, right? But a little bit lower than other one. But still, that's enough for me. <laughs> See? Yeah. One, two. And then ribbon uh, vibrator uh, getting better. Right? And then if the uh, deep uh, for the red, then little bit. Uh, uh, oh, right now it's okay. Getting better. Yeah. Uh, you see? Yeah, like this. Sometime. Because, uh, okay. Yeah. It's a, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just see some good water. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching.